Yeah, it was a beautiful day today. Um, just got started out, it was uh, early, got up before sunrise, there was fog on the water, it was cool, it was probably 60 degrees, sunny, clear sky, um, beautiful views from the campsite, quiet, peaceful. So I took pictures and some video and kind of took my time getting going. There's uh, some cave, there's a cave and a, can't go in very far, maybe a canoe length or so, but on a big bluff. Um, and then across from that there's a quartz outcrop, big white quartz. Looks like uh, snow on top of the mountain, or seagulls have been up there. <laughs> um, so we got, got started, got going that way, uh, first light. And when we got over to the cave, the sun was coming right into the thing and there's ferns growing in there. And up in the corner there's a beaver house in there. I guess that's what you'd really call a beaver lodge. A beaver house, beaver lodge. Um, it's kind of neat and it smelled like a cave in there. Um, normally you probably couldn't see in there and get very good pictures, but I think I got some pretty good video and some pretty good pictures of it. So that was kind of cool. And then just went across the bay and there's uh, the big quartzite outcropping out there. Some real white stuff coming out. So I climbed up on top of that and took some more pictures. And the whole time it's just like glass out there. It's a beautiful morning. The sun's coming up. It's cool. Um, all 60s. Couldn't ask for a prettier morning. So they started paddling out of there, heading south. Tend to tell the lake where we're at right now is 13 miles, I think, of paddling today. A couple of pretty easy portages. Um, fishing for a lake trout. I caught smallmouth walleye in northern on this trip, but I hadn't caught a lake trout yet. So I uh, wanted to catch one of those. And uh, just about ready to give it up, and I, I caught one. It was a pretty decent sized one, too. It was, yeah, I don't know, four pounds, five pounds. I think that's pretty big for a lake trout, at least for uh, Minnesota Lake, it is. Um, that was kind of neat. I think I got maybe some video of him coming to the surface there and a uh, um, couple pictures of him holding him out. It's kind of hard to get pictures when you're by yourself in a canoe. Caught a couple other northerns trolling for him too. I tried on South Aegean. I, we portaged over into South Aegean. And uh, beautiful, beautiful lake. Long, narrow. Um, the northern part and the middle part seem to be more jagged, more cliffs and rocks falling down into the water. And uh, this was a pretty new forest, um, 25, 30 years old maybe. Um, big rock, oh, you could like, walk up on these big rocks. <clears throat> I didn't, but lots of little islands in the north end. Just a very, very pretty lake. And again, it's like glass out there. Paddling was just. It was fun. It was very, very enjoyable. I could go for miles if it would stay cool. And but the sun started getting up there, and it started getting a little, uh, little warm. Um, then we, uh, I portaged over into this other little no-name lake. And I don't know why there's so many no-name lakes that are. It's just a gorgeous lake. And when you come into it, you go around the island. There's a big palisade there that overhangs out with carved white and black. There's black strips coming down it and a uh, huge face and then on the other just back in this is back in the bay another big uh, palisade there that hangs out over the water out on the main lake out there pretty decent sized lake lots of little white rock islands and uh, rocky shoreline and very pretty and then down the uh, portage out of there into the Talon River and here we are tonight Good supper, eating lots, um, trying to eat up some food, lighten up the pack, and these next three days are going to be kind of a push to, to get out of here. Um, get on to Eagle Lake and stay there tomorrow night. Pretty sure that's how it's going to work. And then uh, get across there the next day early in the morning, and that'll be up to get through the portages that may or may not be there. So. 
we'll figure that out then. And then the third day we'll be just paddled out to the pickup point and a uh, hot shower and something cold to drink and a nice chair. Got a nice tent pad here tonight, a big roomy site out on a point on an island here. And there's another fireplace, there's one over here and one back behind me. Um, lots of wood. There's a beaver house down here and he's been eating all of his winter wood. It's all drifted up and there's sticks, just nice little beaver sticks. All kinds of them down there. Just go pick them up, armful and bring them up here. and They burn really good, they're dry. So don't have to work on that. It's just a very nice enjoyable night tonight. Hope it cools off a little bit. I think it will once the sun goes down here. Um, so we'll see you tomorrow. I think four portages to get out of here. Probably about three miles, four miles, five miles of paddling and then uh, paddle probably about half of Eagle Lake. That's to the last campsite I have on the map. And hopefully there's one there and um, we'll go from there.